Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Ren and I make videos about books and pop culture a couple of times a week. Um, I also, I'm just going to apologise, I know that ring light reflections are really annoying. Um, I would take my glasses off but I am quite visually impaired. <laughs> um, so I've done it before but it is quite difficult, it kind of really trips me out so I've, I've tried to make the light as dim as I can to get away with the lighting but England has gone into autumnal mode um the temperature has just dropped um and also it gets darker and it's a bit gloomy so natural light is not my friend as much anymore today I'm here to talk with you about some books containing deaf representation now I am deaf I have two hearing aids my little pals that I've just taken out and you can't see his Here's my one. Oh, now it's like all stuck in my hair. And I'm deaf in both ears. Uh, I've actually been deaf since I was born. Um, didn't know it because I got more deaf over time. Um, but yeah, it's a long story. And I actually spoke about deaf representation and being deaf on my website. Um, you can go on to renontheroad.com. I have a whole series over there where I talk about my journey with being chronically ill and everything that that involves. Um, and I speak a lot about it on there. And I do talk about those books on my website uh, as well, as well as some TV shows. But I wanted to talk about them on here because I realised I hadn't spoken about them on here. And I'm with my little Bucky bear. This is my builder bear. His name is Bucky. The reason why I've introduced my builder bear um, is uh, he's also in his pajamas but he has hearing aids too and this isn't a sponsored video by build bear um if build bear does want to sponsor me you know i'm around i'm here i'm i'm open what i found really cool is build bear actually has like a whole medical range um like they have wheelchair crutches um like a, a port like an access port hearing aids um and loads of other stuff and i just think it's really cute and we match like we match. So he's gonna sit with me while I tell <laughs> tell you some of my favourite books with deaf representation. The thing that I really like about these books and the reason why they are some of my favourites is because the deafness in them is different. So not every single one of these stories approaches deafness the same way because deafness is a huge spectrum. Um, you know, there isn't just people that are hearing and people that are profoundly deaf. Like there's lots of different levels in between and like I said I go into that on my website on my post talking about it um but that's what I liked about these books they're all sort of different experiences and and um different characters and their own their own experience with being deaf so my first book that I want to talk about is Your Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardner and this is a book that I'd actually seen around for so long like for years um and just never got around to picking it up um but I read it this year and I absolutely loved it I thought it was amazing and it focuses on Julia and she goes to a all deaf school um and she is profoundly deaf she uses mainly sign language to communicate some people at her school have cochlear implants and then other people at her school have hearing aids so even within the school there's lots of different levels of deafness it's lots of different lots of different um personal preferences of what they use and she likes to do a lot of street art uh, and at her school there's a slur written on the wall uh, about her best friend so she does this like amazing mural to cover it up but her best friend then like kind of says it was her and gets her kicked out um and she goes to a different school and this school is not an all deaf school so she has someone who is a like translator for her and it's everything from there and kind of how she feels like she fits in and finding herself and kind of her family and and how she just kind of feels like she fits in the world and how the world is with her um, and the scene that really really like was really uh, like stand out for me um, and something that I do also talk about on my website as well so I'm sorry if it's a bit repetitive if you have read that post or if you go and read that post but I talk about a lot of other things on that post as well so you know there's there's differences um, but one thing that really stood out to me was she there's one scene where she's angry and she's signing and someone puts their hands over her hands to stop her from signing and she talks about how much of a violation that is because she would never dream of putting her hand over someone's mouth while they were speaking and I just think that that is so like that is so important like that touches a lot on how people see sign language and how people see it not as an actual language um which it is and I think everyone should be taught it in school but 
that discussion's not here and all that. And yeah, so I, I just think this book's really important. I think it's really good. I think the way that it talks about deafness um, is absolutely amazing. And I, I loved this book. I absolutely loved it. It's one of the best books I've read this year so far. And I actually have um, some graphic novels. And the first one is Mooncakes. Um, which is a fantasy graphic novel. This is um, Nova and she works in her grandmother's bookshop um, and is also a witch. And this is her childhood crush, Tam. And Tam is also a werewolf. So it's from there. But Nova is actually deaf and you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but she's got hearing aids on um, in the picture. And this is like everything at my street. Like I love witches. I love books set in bookshops. I love graphic novels. I love fantasy. I love everything that this encountered. It's a phenomenal book. Um, but the Nova's deafness is considered like, it's not like the main point. There's a few times where you see her put them in and then there's other times where she um, is talking on the phone and she picks it up and like there's an interference and she has to take the hearing aid out and then put the phone back so she can hear a little bit but has to take it out and I've had that before like I've had my hearing aids like it absolutely just hate some noise like some technology like, so I liked that that was in there and that was like a little thing that was in there and um I like as well how it how like it doesn't the way that it's done within it being like a fantasy book as well like it's still a thing a lot of books that like fantasy books seem to forget that these things exist. Like no one's deaf, no one's blind, no one's disabled, no one's ill. Like all of these things just magically disappear, um, which is, would, I don't think it would be the case. Like, it, you know, these things are still things. So I like how it's done in this um, and it's done really well. And this book is just so unapologetically gay um, <laughs> and brilliant. And it's a cute little romance and I loved it. Then we have El Dafo by CC Bell. And this is actually a memoir um, like a graphic novel type memoir thing with CC. It's starting at a new school and how scary that can be, but especially with a giant hearing aid strapped to your chest. She's sure that all the kids are staring at it and everyone's looking and makes her feel really self-conscious. But then CC finds out that the phonic gear can make her hear everything, not just like in her classroom, but everywhere. And it's kind of like seen as like a uh, like a superpower um, which I think is really cool and I really liked the way that this was done and how it kind of gums you know like how it's a really interesting take on a memoir and using your own experiences and sharing them but then the way that deafness is explored within it I loved this I thought it was really good this is another one that I'd seen like I've, like so much and just had never got around to reading but again I read it this year and I absolutely loved it I thought it was really well done really creative and really clever and I love the way that deafness was explored in it and I have You Don't Know Everything Jilly P by Alex Gino I've spoken on my channel before a lot about Alex Gino and their books they are one of my favourite authors um, they wrote Melissa they also wrote Rick which I think are two phenomenal middle grade novels they are beautiful and just so 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 good um so if you haven't read them please read them they actually have a new book that i bought in my other room and it's about a non-binary character and they are they're just I, my brain's right i'll put it up here this actually focuses on jilly who's having a little sister and her little sister emma is born and she's born deaf and jilly like has no idea what to do with that because that's something that she's never experienced before and she doesn't know how she's supposed to then be around her little sister. She realises she has a lot to learn about deafness um, and is a little bit like stumped by it. Then she makes a connection with Derek who is an American sign language user and she will go to him for help but she doesn't always know like when the best times are and the thing I really like about this is that it's also kind of it touches upon like you like teaching yourself if that makes sense you can make mistakes but it's then up to you to fix those mistakes and figure out how you can do better next time if that makes sense and I really like that like I really like the way that Alex Gino explores things like that in their books um and I love the way it was done in this and the way that deafness was explored in this obviously Jilly is not a deaf character but it's her like perspective and also meeting other deaf characters and how she's doing better and how she's gonna learn and that kind of thing. So I think this explores deafness really, really well. Then we have another middle grade book. That is Song for a Whale by Lynn Kelly. And this focuses on 12 year old Iris and she really loves like technology and fixing things, but 
no one in her class takes her completely seriously because she's the only deaf person in her class and they don't think that she's very clever which is just like it is so sad that people assume that like, you know that people assume that because of that you're not smart like it, it that's that assumption is there before you've even been able to like prove that that's not the case like it's crazy to me iris then finds out about blue 55 who is a real whale who's unable to communicate with other whales and iris finds that that's something that she really relates to and then she kind of ends up on this thing where she wants to go and find uh blue 55 um and it is everything from that and the journey and dealing with everything and lynn kelly is actually a sign language interpreter um and i really loved this book i really loved the way it was done it gave me um a, the thing about jellyfish vibes um which isn't a book about deaf characters um but that kind of thing of being young and feeling confused by something and feeling a bit lost because of something and that kind of exploration from that um the thing about jellyfish is one of my favorite middle grade books and to be fair one of my favorite books um and it's beautiful um and this kind of i i i yeah it gave me similar vibes um but this was done really well and i loved it and i loved kind of iris taking back her like but i can do this like you've made this assumption about me and it's wrong you know, like, and I, lo I loved that. So this is really good. Also a really good middle grade book. And I think more middle grade books should be more like inclusive because like children have this, you know, like I wish that when I was a child, build a bear and other companies had things like this because they didn't when I was a kid, you had to search and it was so expensive. Um, and then finally we have an adult book um, and that is True Beers by Sarah Novick. Um, and True Beers throws us into this um, residential school for deaf people. We have Charlie who is going and has never met another deaf person in her life. Then we have Austin whose life kind of shifted a little bit because his baby sister was born hearing. And also February who is the headmistress and is trying to keep the school open and also not let her marriage fall apart. Um, and it's everything, it's everything from there. Um, this book is wonderful, it's beautiful, it has so many different stories and discussions that are so important um, and I absolutely loved it. It's beautiful um, and I would really, really recommend it. I mean, I'd recommend all of these books. That's why I'm here talking to you about them. Okay, I'd love to know if there's any books that you guys have read with deaf characters in them. I'm always up for recommendations. There's not a lot, unfortunately. Um, and I'm always up for more. So if you guys know any more, please recommend them in the comments. And also any movies, any TV shows, any, please, please recommend. And if you do want to go check out my website um, and read that blog post, it is runontheroad.com. And then if you scroll down, there's my little hospital bit, it will say a full set of observations. And you can click the little pill bottle. If it says read more, you just click the bottle and it'll take you and you can see a uh, deaf representation matters but i'll link it down below as well but if you want to check out my whole website it's right on the road .com. thank you guys for listening like i said before if you guys are new here then i make videos a couple of times a week about books and pop culture so if you want to stick around and join us feel free to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell and as usual all the links to all my other social medias are in the description down below and so are the links to my podcast i have a stranger things podcast called hawkins do you copy i co-host it with my friend emily and we talk all things stranger things so if you like stranger things and want to come here us talk about it Feel free to check us out on that as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing really, 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 really well. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.